What's cracking guys? Omar Yusuf here, back with another video. In this video today, it's a training video, and it's a training video with a bunch of PRs. As you guys probably know, I've been having a lot of PRs lately. That is thanks to kind of getting rededicated, being able to train injury-free, being able to focus on the big goals I have. The big goal, or one of the big goals this year is the overhead press. I want to increase that. Last year, at the end of the year, I hit my goal 100 kilos, 220 pounds, weighing about 80 kilos, 176 pounds. This year, I'm up in the stakes. I want 110 kilos, so 22 more pounds, and I'm going to go in a lean mass phase. I'm probably going to gain 12 to 14 pounds to assist with that because I do believe I'm reaching kind of that limit you know where you start really grinding really pushing it there is that theoretical max that you have I don't know what it is but in order to get 110 kilos I need to put on some weight speaking of which I know a lot of you guys have been asking hey man what's your plan now for this uh, whole muscle building plan of 2017 if you guys want to see a complete video of me breaking down my calories my training split everything like the damn video like this video right here and put hashtag leave the comment mass on that ass and I'll make it happen. I'll give a full explanation of how I plan on doing it because I believe there is an optimal route. You don't want to turn into a fat bastard. Lord knows I've done that before. Anyways, PRs are in this video. Let's get started. So before this, before this whole, you know, phase where I was focusing on the overhead press, my previous uh, PR from 4 rep max, and I know you guys are thinking like, damn, you got a 4 rep max, a 5 rep max, a 3 rep max, what don't you got? This is important. This is how you know how you're progressing essentially. So whether or not you should go for that one rep max. Because when it comes to testing, I rarely, and I mean rarely, fail. Why? Because I know leading up to that, I have, you know, my five rep calculator, three rep, all those different things letting me know I'm making progress. I'm going in that right direction. So I think they're very important. Anyways, before this, uh, before today, several months ago, my best four rep max was 190 pounds. In this video today, I'm going to go for 90 kilos. So that's 198, 199 pounds for four repetitions. And this was to be my last week before I, you know, would attempt this coming week a new PR of 102.5 kilos, 226, 227 pounds on the overhead press. So that'd be about six, seven pound PR. And as you'll see, I smoke the 90 kilos for four. It felt actually to me really easy. And it felt easy because this whole entire, let's say, uh, periodization I've done for myself leading up to this overhead press PR has made a lot of sense. Uh, it's honestly, it's high frequency as I talked about before. There's nothing magical about it, just like the bench press program I'm running from Kaizen Training. There's nothing fancy, but just good, solid programming, the right frequency, the right intensity, the right amount of volume, uh, and it's allowing me to make a lot of progress. After that, I had to go for a two rep uh, overhead press. So I had to go for 95 kilos, which was my previous before last year. That was my previous one rep max. So now I'm repping it out for two reps and it felt a lot easier. And that's after doing once again a four rep max. So the overhead press, needless to say, a lot of positivity is happening in that direction. From there, I'm showing you guys also other clips that are non-weightlifting, uh, little things I'm doing, like on the front squat, I'm trying to focus on keeping my chest upright so as it relates to the clean, it has a better transfer towards that. Instead of me dipping forward just on the front squat naturally, I'll kind of my chest will lower a little bit, hips will rise, and then they'll shoot back under. I kind of want to eliminate that so there's a better uh, transfer between the front squat into catching that clean and then you know squatting the weight back up. So a lot of different things. After that, however, you guys know I also got that goal I'm peaking for following that 12-week Kaizen program for that 360-pound bench. Now, I'm going to be honest, it's going to be a touch and go, but we got a little bit of a roadblock. You see, between Wednesday when I did the overhead press PR and Friday when I was supposed to do my you know high volume, high intensity bench press session, I rolled my ankle. I sprained my ankle. I went full potato, never go full potato, and that happened. Currently, it's the size of a grapefruit, but I decided not to let that stop me on this Friday that I was going to go in and bench. It's 280, 280 pounds for a 5x5, five five, uh, which would be the most amount of volume sets and reps of so far this training block. Things have been going great before. The previous week, I had to do a 4x5 five on Friday, and they just flew up. Well, let me tell you something. If you want to know the importance of leg drive, 
proper arch, uh, total body tension, any of those things, these reps will show you that completely because I was unable to put pressure on that right foot, the ankle that I rolled, uh, what ended up happening, I couldn't put it also on my left foot, otherwise it'd be very uneven, I'd press too far with my left side. You will notice immediately the strength difference between kind of, you know, having an arch, a proper leg position, leg drive, just having that total body tension so you're that strong, stable base, and then feeling like a damn jellyfish on that bench when you got none of those things. I am calling this video Death by Bench Press because these were pretty much um, the hardest reps I've had to do on the bench press in a very, very long time, thanks to this ankle right here. Um, but I got it done, I actually got a spot, I got my boy Andrew, who is a very good weightlifter to spot me, just to protect me bro, I appreciate you. But bottom line, honestly, even with this uh, ankle sprain, I have some cool content, I have some weightlifting coming up that I filmed before that, that I'll release this coming week. Um, this week, honestly, just gonna take it late on the lower body. Upper body, the big bummer, I was supposed to try that 102.5, 226, 227 pounds on the overhead press for one, but I probably can't stand and apply weight on this for maybe a week, so I'll have to delay that, as well as yesterday, I was supposed to do a 395 by five beltless high bar squat, which would have been PR, and that also had to be a sideline, but listen, Nothing's gonna stop the game train. This is just a minor inconvenience. There's a lot of good stuff happening. There are PRs, like I said, the overhead press, that momentum, I really feel the squat. I really got those mechanics down pat, and I'm excited to start that lean mass phase. So, nothing but goodness. That is the end of the video. I figured I'd update you guys. I'm making progress. What can I say? It's 2017. It's the year of gains. If you want to see that lean mass phase, me breaking down the calories, the training split, and a bunch of other advice for you guys, Forget it, it's winter, it's bulking time, you should be on it. Like the damn video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video.